to Creative Crew. It's a very cozy bunch of people. Uh, how many of you are here for the first time? None of you. How about you? Are you here for the first time? No as well. Okay. Uh, actually, a lot of you already know the contents of what I'm going to speak uh, because it's just uh, sharing some very practical ways on how to get involved uh, with the tech community. And uh, let me start with uh, the, since all of you already know here, uh, I think, I don't know, King Ming is probably here for like five years in the tech community. No, 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 five years. <laughs> Less than that? Leon, uh, I know Leon for like 10 years. Uh, since Creative Crew. Creative Crew has been my first meetup where I ever spoke. Chiana I was known for like seven years. Pretty long. Kenneth, uh, I knew him since the maker and Philip and uh, so uh, what I want to say is that uh, the community here, especially you know, the developer community, the maker community, the design community, is uh, very tightly knit and I can surely say that it's been growing over the years. And every time I go to a tech meetup, you will surely see new faces, and that's a good thing. Uh, and uh, I would welcome all of you like, uh, to visit these two sites, which kind of summarizes what's going on. So We Build SG is a site that will list all the upcoming events, and these are typically free, and open for anyone and here you have open events and open source so and these are by the way welcome for any people so uh, whether you want to know about data or science cafe or azure these are mostly like tech events developer events but if you are wondering what is it like to visit a meetup and what happens there engineers.sg uh, has recordings of the meetups. In fact, this meetup is being recorded by engineers.sg as well. So, King Wing here is helping to record it. So, if you want to know what goes on in meetups, engineers.sg is a great way uh, to kind of balance out. So, we will SG is for the future and engineers.sg is for the past. I also want to point out Copy.js. If you want a casual gathering of the geeks that makes uh, the tech happen, the designers, developers, makers, OPGS is the one. All we do, uh, and Chian here is the organizer of OPGS, all we do is literally go to a cafe on a typical Saturday morning and drink kopi. So if none of you have visited a OPGS, I also welcome you to visit it next year. So going back to the slides, um, the third thing I would say is uh, to visit a space. How many of you have visited Hackerspace? I think most of you have, right? But there are also other spaces like One Maker Group, which is in the National Design Center opposite library. There is also SL Square, which is in Tafit. Uh, there are also a lot of educational institutes uh, that are having a maker or hacker spaces. Uh, there are um, also uh, art science museum that are very open to these kind of activities. So if you're shy, uh, just you can go and visit all these spaces. Uh, next up is online groups. Uh, these are the three places that I hang out. Uh, there's Facebook and if you sort of Google uh, for the meetup names, there is, for example, CSS Singapore, Python Group, or even in Meetup. If you go and Google, uh, search for it, it's there. If not, of course, you can also go to webuild.sg and it will gather all the uh, Meetup, strong Facebook Meetup, and you can write and gather them here. And the last one is uh, Twitter as well. So if you go to Twitter, uh, especially there is also a Twitter account, uh, engineers.sg, copyjs, or webuild. Uh, SG, and if you go to say um, say the followers, all right? If you go to the followers here. Ah, uh, this is Leon's one. Sorry, oops, I'm going to Leon's followers. 
Okay, so these are all the followers for We Build This. You can also follow them. There are a lot of uh, tech groups here as well. So these are the online groups uh, that you can explore. Next is uh, schools. Uh, if you want to pick up seriously design or development or even making like wood crafting, metal work, these are the schools I would recommend. Uh, there's General Assembly, Alpha Camp. Does anybody know of any other schools? I think there are some boot camps that are happening in Singapore. But there are two more that I found out and I use a lot. Uh, one is Skills Future. How many of you know about Skills Future? Any of you? Uh, so what I did just like a couple of months ago, I wanted to learn machine learning on Coursera. And Skills Future, if you're Singaporean, you can actually get the fees reimbursed by Skills Future. So this is a great way to take online courses. I've also gone on Udemy as well, udemy.com, which is another online platform to take courses. So I highly recommend Skills Future if you're Singaporean. Uh, to take online courses and seriously there is networking, security, web development, hardware uh, courses as well as machine learning, data science, a lot of courses. Take it from SkillsFuture. I got my reimbursed uh, amount of money as well so it's really amazing. And the last thing is National Library eBooks. So how many of you uh, have the National Library app on your phone? None of you. Okay, great. So this is a new tip for all of you. I got to know about this barely a few months ago. Before this, I would go to Amazon Kindle and buy the ebooks because I do not want to go to physically to a library because we are all busy. But now, I download the National Library. So if you're using Android or iPhone, you can go to NLB Mobile. So you just search on your app store NLB Mobile. And this is really amazing. I have been listening to audiobooks and borrowing ebooks as well. And I do not have to spend my money on Kindle anymore. I really save a lot. And they have a very, very good collection. So, once again, if you are, I believe, uh, even employment pass holders for an amount of fee, a low amount of fee, you can get a National Library board membership. I highly, highly recommend you to download NLD Mobile. I'm a big fan of this, so NLB mobile app. Please go and uh, download it and uh, start using it. It's really good. So one thing I want to say is NLB mobile, uh, it uses this app called Overdrive. So what happens is that you can download all your audio files, if it is an audio book or the book in Overdrive, and you can listen to them or read them while you're commuting. Because during commute, you know, internet can be flaky. And if you want to save your mobile data, you can download the books here. And you can uh, basically listen to them and read them. So highly, highly recommend uh, SkillsFuture and NLB for this. Next are conferences. There are a lot of tech conferences going on, especially developer conferences in Singapore. So. Uh, if you are interested in programming languages such as PHP or Go or Python or JavaScript, there is one in Singapore. I would say even five years ago, we didn't have so many conferences happening, but luckily we have. And if you are interested, you can even volunteer as one of the organizers for these conferences. Next up, Hapkathon. Uh, last uh, weekend, right? Super silly hackathon <laughs> Singapore. Last, just last Saturday, there was a very, and oh my gosh, this website is so beautiful. It's once again made by Chian there. Cool, right? Cool, super silly. There is a, a lot of hackathons going on, and hackathons are amazing ways to make new friends. Right? So you do not have to be serious about building something. Go there and just with your laptop and see what's going on and make new friends. There is also Code Extreme Apps, uh, which has been going on for a few years already. So join these hackathons and you get to make new friends and see cool ideas. Next up are competitions. Uh, this is a Singapore 
autonomous underwater vehicle competition, but there are also other competitions that goes around. Uh, these are also related to hardware or software or making in general. And finally, podcast. In fact, I saw uh, you taking uh, the podcast book. Okay. So what are podcasts? I listen to a lot of podcasts. How many of you listen to podcasts? Great. So you're on Android, iPhone? Both Android and iPhone. And what app do you use? Do something. Okay, I'm not so sure about Android, but on iPhone I used Overcast. So along with, you know, the National Library uh, app, this is the something I listen to, an Overcast app. Inside here, I have many, many, many podcasts. I have like the Big Web Show, the Data Skeptic, Embedded for Hardware, Google Cloud Platform Podcast, so Internet of Things Podcast. So if you have, just go to Overcast for iPhone, and I believe Android also has a similar app. Go and listen to it. Once again, download it while you are on iPhone, uh, Wi-Fi and you can listen to it while you're commuting. So podcast is once again a great way to get in touch with the tech. And finally, meetups. So meetups such as Creative Crew, and there are also many other types of meetups. For example, programming language, hardware or maker meetups. They're also based on new technologies, for example, AI, blockchain. But once again, if you go to engineers.sg, you will see various, various types of meetups here. And seriously, I think engineers.hsg has how many? Ooh, look at this. Over 2,000. Over 2,000 uh, meetup talks recorded so far. And engineers.hsg is how old? Four, five years old, I think. 2013, four, four years old. Four, five years old. And you have over 2,000 talks being shared. So this is a great resource to, for you to know about the meetups going on. Uh, so how can you get involved? Firstly, I would say, well, you are already here in Creative Crew, attend other meetups. And uh, if you're learning something, volunteer to speak at a meetup. And uh, that's how I learned a lot of things, because when I speak, it lets me clarify the topic I'm speaking about, and also get audience feedback. So speak at it, and once you're friendly with the organizers and the audience, go and organize, help organize the meetup. So that's a great way. Finally, I want to end with this photo. Uh, this uh, was at a creative crew meetup. I believe this was 2012 or something like that. And uh, well, one of our old friends uh, has just arrived. I'm just saying that this is one of the creative crew meetups I've spoken. I think maybe you remember it. It was at the National Library at Bugis. And this is in 2012. I was talking about CSS when I was learning about web dev. In fact, Creative Crew was my first meetup where I ever spoke in 2008, almost 10 years ago. That's where I first spoke. But there is an interesting thing here. Of all the audience, my future boss is sitting at the back right here. So meetups are a great way. The tech community is a great way to not only learn but get some really practical results out of it. And that's where he saw me and he's like, hey, let's meet up and let's talk about it. So um, I hope you all take this chance to kind of explore the tech community in Singapore, uh, Creative Crew and beyond, and learn something out of it. Yeah, that's it, but I would welcome questions, like if you have any questions about uh, anything, about podcast, meet up, thank you. Any questions? So I guess Leon has something to say.